September 2023 has etched itself into memory of Americans as a series of nightmares with natural disasters relentlessly ravaging the country. Among them, Atlanta, Georgia endured one of the most historic floods, causing severe consequences. Continuous heavy rain transformed the streets into rivers, sweeping away vehicles and possessions and disrupting the daily lives of the residents. Is this natural disaster a judgment from the Creator for humanity's faults against nature? The following video will delve deeper into this issue. Before we continue, please take a moment to like and share this video to spread the message about the relationship between humans and nature to everyone. Let's explore and reflect on the messages that nature wants to convey through these events. On September 14, 2023, Atlanta, Georgia faced one of the most historic floods as an unexpected deluge of over two inches of rain fell within just an hour. This extreme weather event left the downtown area, the Atlanta University Center vicinity, and surrounding residential areas submerged underwater. According to reports from Fox 5 storm tracking team, the amount of rain recorded in those brief minutes was equivalent to what is typically seen over three hours. Some areas of Atlanta experienced water levels rising up to five feet, overflowing onto the streets and lower lying areas, a phenomena caused by the nearly stationary band of thunderstorms. On social media, videos quickly spread showing the deep inundation of vehicles at the Clark Atlanta University campus and a parking lot turned into an artificial lake. This natural disaster not only caused damage to infrastructure like fences and buildings, but also left a pointed image of its severe impact on the capital of Georgia. Starting the afternoon of September 13th, an unexpected flood created an emergency situation around the Georgia Aquarium, causing water levels to rise rapidly on Baker Street, necessitating the closure and evacuation of visitors. On the streets, vehicles were swept away from parking lots on Northside Drive and Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, then piled up chaotically along the roads, eventually getting stuck in a parking lot near the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Georgia Power announced the thousands of households were left without electricity, with the situation being more severe in the East Atlanta area. The vicinity of the Atlanta University Center became one of the hardest hit areas of the disaster, with rescue boats being deployed continuously to aid residents stranded by the floodwaters. The 
The expert team from the university is urgently working to assess the damage and proceed with repairs, aiming to restore normal operations in the area as soon as possible. Meteorologists reported that a heavy rainfall of about 3 inches caused rapid flooding between 2 and 3 p.m. The natural disaster accompanied by intense thunderstorms that afternoon affected the lives of over 770,000 residents in the area. Previously, on July 20th, 2023, a severe storm wreaked havoc on the northeast and southeast areas, prompting millions to heed severe weather warnings and the risk of flooding in the Atlanta metropolitan area. The National Weather Service's local office warned that this was a dangerous situation, potentially life-threatening, and advised drivers not to head north from downtown. The storm not only brought heavy rainfall, but also came with hail. Hailstones as large as baseballs damaged crops, destroyed trees and injured many properties, including vehicles that could not move to safe shelter in time. Many residents expressed their astonishment. While hail is not uncommon in Atlanta, witnessing hailstones the size of baseballs is truly unbelievable. This weather event shocked many as they had never seen such a spectacle before. Amidst the harsh weather conditions, authorities requested people to stay indoors, seek safe shelter and keep away from the windows for safety. These measures were taken to protect the community from the potential impacts of extreme weather. You might have wondered why nature often unleashes its fury upon us. Could this be the consequence of human errors? According to meteorological experts, these natural disasters are often the results of impact from climate change. The phenomena, including global warming as well as the increase in intensity and frequency of storms. These disasters are gradually destroying continents and even nations with advanced scientific and technological infrastructures are not spared. Some believe that these disasters are warnings from the Creator about the sins humanity has committed against the earth. The Lord has witnessed the crimes of humanity and has sent messages about an impending apocalypse. In the face of modern science's capabilities, what can humanity do to avert the apocalypse? Compared to the might of Mother Nature, we may indeed feel small and powerless, perhaps only able to sit quietly and pray for swift resolution. Oh my God. In summary, whether these phenomena serve as a reminder from Mother Nature to us or not, it's clear that our world needs to change. 
Every action, no matter how small, aimed at protecting the environment can contribute to creating a sustainable and peaceful future on our planet. Flooding in Nevada. Nevada declares a state of emergency due to Tropical Storm Hillary. Help me. Help me, please. Help. The storm is believed to have brought heavy rain, flooding and strong winds throughout the Las Vegas area. On Monday, officials said they were still working to assess the damage on Mount Charleston, but four subdivisions were affected by the flooding. While flood warnings for parts of Clark County expired earlier today, recent indications suggest that Tropical Storm Hillary seems to be dissipating as it moved from Southern California throughout the neighboring state. Was that Uber? <laughs> One place that appears to have been impacted is Las Vegas Strip, a location often swamped with tourists. Videos shared by locals show water flooding the parking lot of the Link Casino. A slow-moving storm system brought heavy rain across the state of New York on Sunday evening. This resulted in flooded streets that led to dozens of rescues of drivers stranded on submerged roads. The National Weather Service stated that the Highland Falls area and the southern part of Orange County were the hardest hit, with most roads in Highland Falls becoming impassable. The West Point Highway in Orange County turned into a rapidly flowing river. Furthermore, the Hudson Valley was more severely affected by the storm system on Sunday, when many areas in the region received rainfall amounts of 5 to 8 inches, according to the National Weather Service. Locals captured images of a mud flow streaming down a slope. The landslide in this area covers an extremely large surface area. It originated from the hill that had collapsed due to prolonged rainfall. Before us is an extremely severe landslide. It has created a horrifying scene with dust rising as if from a massive explosion. The residents are running, searching for safety for themselves, accompanied by terrified screams. A severe storm brought heavy rain and flooding to areas of Shreveport and Boisier City, causing cars to be trapped and blocking intersections.
Residents in Shreveport had endured the fierce storm and flood warnings until 8 p.m. on Saturday. Over 27,000 Swepco customers are said to have lost power in Caddo and Bossier parishes. After nearly 20 days without rain, Arklatex received more than enough on Saturday night. Severe flooding in Shrevesport resulted in many cars being submerged in the water. The tunnel depression in Hearn Avenue and Midway Avenue is one of the worst flood hit locations in the city. Heavy rain has battered the Emilia Romana area of northern Italy over the past 24 hours, causing widespread flooding. Heavy rainfall since May 2nd has caused several rivers to breach their banks, leading to flooding and landslides in parts of the region. The provinces of Bologna and Ravenna have been the hardest hit. Footage shared online by residents shows extensive flooding in the area between Bologna, the capital of Emilia Romana, and the city of Ravenna on the Adriatic coast. Rail services have been disrupted in the affected areas and suspended due to ongoing flooding between Fesna and Forli. Additionally, authorities have closed schools in many of the most severely affected areas. Heavy downpours ravaged the Big Apple over the past weekend as relentless rain flooded city streets and caused the wall of residential buildings in the Bronx to collapse. Many were fascinated when a small water spout phenomena occurred, with numerous people capturing the moment. Around six inches of rain fell in the tri-state area, prompting New York City to advise ground floor residents to seek higher ground. The street flooding and ponding spread widely. Within the city, the heaviest flooding was in the Queens and Brooklyn areas, with floodwaters reported from Cross Island Parkway in Whitestone, to Long Island Expressway in Fresh Meadows and Hillside Avenue in Jamaica. <laughs> Flooding and hail strike Adana. A severe storm with torrential rain and hail hit Adana, Turkey on Friday, April 21st, causing flooding. Drivers were stranded at several places in the city due to submerged roads. Heavy rain and hail started to make their appearance by midday. Many avenues, alleys and side streets in nearby districts are flooded. Beyond the flooding, the hailstorm has left some cars covered and others unable to navigate the streets.
Surely everyone is very curious about the phenomena seen in this video. When we talk about lightning, people usually think of thunderstorms and strong winds, but in this video it occurs during a volcanic eruption. People commonly refer to it as volcanic lightning. Please leave your discussion comments below the video comment section. Thank you very much for your keen interest, follow up and enthusiastic support. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. For now we say goodbye and look forward to seeing you in our next videos. Wishing everyone a warm day with your family.